Hey everyone, welcome back to Walt and Sarah's channel. Today I'm going to be trying this Nescafe Gold Espresso Instant Coffee. I am seeing it all over the internet and it is finally my turn to try this. As most of you know, I am obsessed with caramel iced lattes from Dunkin', but sometimes you have to take a break. But these are the flavors that they offer right now. They have the blonde or the intense. I'm going with blonde because I am nine months pregnant and I don't need all that extra caffeine. So I'm just going to start with this one just to give it a little try. The instructions recommend using one teaspoon to two fluid ounces. However, I am used to drinking a medium coffee from Dunkin', so I'm gonna go ahead and use eight ounces of liquid, which is milk, I'm using whole milk, and I'm going to use four teaspoons of this instant coffee. Now this is my first time using this, so I'm really hoping for good results. I honestly don't know what to expect, but we're just gonna wing it and go with it and see how it turns out. I have read online a lot of people recommend using warm water, however, I like whole milk in my lattes, so I'm using whole milk rather than using water because I don't want it to be watered down or taste funky, so I don't know. Something in me told me to use whole milk, and honestly, by the end of this video, I don't regret it. So I'm using the 8 ounces of whole milk, I'm going to put some ice in my 11 cup here from Stranger Things, and guys, if you want a little bonus, you can see the cup change colors, which is pretty cool. Now I can understand why people say use warm water, because it didn't exactly dissolve as quick as I had hoped it would. So it took a lot of muscle to keep mixing, 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 but eventually it did dissolve and I was happy with the results. And guys, while I'm finishing up our little concoction here, I would really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up as it truly, really does help us out and helps out our channel. So I do appreciate it. At this point, I'm just being super extra. I'm adding a little bit of whipped cream and some of this Hershey's caramel syrup just to really make it like Dunkin'. I did not mean to get it down on the side there. That's a my bad, but whatever. Here it is guys, just like you would get from a coffee shop. This is our homemade medium caramel iced latte. And guys, it is pretty tasty, let me tell you. I do have one major regret and that is the fact that I did not put sugar into my cup. I wish I would have added the caramel or the sugar down at the bottom. Once I squeezed a bunch in there, it tasted so much better. But yes, so um, at 53 cents a cup, and that's just for the coffee ingredient part, but at 53 cents a cup, you can save a lot of money. So I highly recommend giving it a try. Make sure you add some sugar into it if you do like your ice latte sweet, like from Dunkin'. But again, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you all in the next one.